friends. That was adorable. Hi friends, how are you? So today we're gonna do something a little different. Not a lot different, just a little different. We're gonna talk about some of our favorite records and go through our vinyl collection. I love talking about music and watching videos like these, so I'm really excited for this. This video is sponsored by Hungry Root, more on that later. Also, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Kat, I really like musicals and other music, apparently, we're learning today. I also run an internet call. Anyway, I will now see you over there. And now I'm over here. And I'm with my boyfriend, Tim. Everybody say hi, boyfriend, Tim. Oh, am I everyone? What's your favorite vinyl from yeah. your personal collection? Comment down below. <laughs> Never thought I'd actually say that. Look at that, you're a, you're a YouTuber. Hey, <laughs> bye, bye. Should we just get started from, I don't know, A to Z, I guess? Uh, sure, yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. This first one is Aesop Rock, Labor Days. He's got a huge vernacular, really understand the English language and how to twist it, make some really weird metaphors, really cool beats, and my intro to hip hop. Sgt. Pepper. There are many Beatles albums. This one in particular ties into my love of design. They've been cut out and where they've even been colored, where some of those yeah. were black and white. Making this was a lot harder than it is today. This is Church's Screen Violence. First band we ever went to see live. Yeah, that's true. Which our first so uh, concert date. Yeah. We had only been together for like a couple of weeks. A couple of months. Hey, come on. But I remember you telling me about that concert the night we met. Yeah. You inviting me to it. It's almost like an 80s horror movie. I mean, obviously well, this album in I particular. I think that's the theme, but there's um, something to the use of synth. Christina and the Queens, who we yeah. also love, who yeah. we're also going to see live. Oh, yeah. They're um, so rad. They sing in French half the time? Well, they are French. Waste misery. Godspell, hey, for anyone who isn't familiar. And guess what? It's not my copy. <laughs> I purchased this at a Goodwill. It is my favorite musical nostalgically, just because my mom is the main reason why I love musical theater as much as I do. This was one of the first musical movies that she ever showed to me. We've got Harry Styles' Fine Line, cover to cover, it's Phenomenal. Those music videos too. The vinyl itself is gorgeous. I will also say one of my favorite typefaces on the back here. Whoa. Uh, I believe that's Archivo Black, so very nice. It's really, really hot that you can identify fonts by name. It's just part of the job, man. Picture this. I love Huey Lewis and the news in general because I'm a huge fan of Back to the Future. Also, Back to the Future coming to Broadway soon? What are our Can't thoughts come on soon that? Enough. Okay, Tim's taking a hard stance. He is stoked. I feel like just anything Back to the Future is worth at least seeing once. There you go. There's the endorsement. We are big Bleachers fans, and this is Take the Sadness Out of Saturday Night. The actual vinyl itself. It's just so pretty. It's gorgeous. It's what we have uh, here Teal. in the player. Take the seafoam out of Saturday Night. Speaking of Taylor Swift, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor. It's the best day today because this video is sponsored by Hungry Root, a grocery service perfectly catered to your lifestyle and taste. So I've used Hungry Root before, and long story short, I'm a massive fan. It is such a huge huge time saver because going to the market for us is like a whole Saturday ordeal. Not with Hungry Root, baby. I was able to fully meal plan and order groceries for the whole week in under an hour from my living room. Last time we got Hungry Root, we tried this barbecue chicken flatbread that just hits different. So we added it to our favorites list and immediately reordered it. Plus, the more we use Hungry Root, the more personalized the recommendations get. Hungry Root is super easy to use. Start by taking a short quiz, sharing how and what you like to eat, and if you have any specific goals, like eating more plants, discovering new recipes, or looking to save time and money in the kitchen. Hungry Root then puts together a personalized, pre-filled grocery cart with healthy ingredients along with quick, delicious, easy-to-follow recipes. They've got a wide 
variety of options for all dietary needs and over 2,000 recipes to discover. My favorite feature of Hungry Root is the option to not only edit your weekly deliveries and choose exactly which recipes you want, but you can also add grocery items a la carte, which is perfect because all of their meals have been phenomenal, but Tim and I have been simply enchanted by their salmon. The first 100 people to use my code CATSTEEL40 will get 40% off their first grocery order with Hungry Root. Use the link in the description box below or go to HungryRoot.com and use code CATSTEEL40 to get 40% off. Hope you guys go check it out because I can't recommend Hungry Root enough. And now it's time to go back to the video. I love Casey Musgraves. I love her earlier work when it's a little more country influence, and I love her more recent work that's a little more electro pop. Yeah, I was gonna pop. say like dreamy. Yeah. Fun fact: uh, <laughs> Casey's sister took this photo, and also the one for Golden Hour, and also mm. the one for same trailer, different park. Let's give you this one. Ooh, Boop. Led Zeppelin one. Lots of sentimental value to this one. Part of the reason why I started playing the drums. Every single track on this is a banger. Maggie Rogers is one of my favorite singer-songwriters currently out there. I think she's so Same. special. I think the work that she writes is so intimate. So this is one of my absolute favorite bands, Manchester Orchestra. This album specifically, Mean Everything to Nothing, is the first album that I ever heard from them. This is actually a special edition. Ooh, you really got me into Manchester Orchestra and I've become such a fan of them. It sounds so much like Once, the musical, if that piques your interest. There's also a phenomenal Phoebe Bridgers cover. Yes, Check that the out. gold from their other album, Black Mile to the Surface. Oh, Muna! 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 Oh, Muna! Oh, oh my man. gosh. <laughs> we worked so hard for this. We got to see Moon Alive. They're probably in my top five, maybe top three mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. I love Muna so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered this as a birthday gift, and instead it arrived six months later? Six months later. I think when we moved later. in here, and it paid off. Neutral Milk Hotel, In the Aeroplane Over the Sea. One of two albums that I believe Neutral Milk Hotel ever put out, or Jeff Mangum ever put out. I would say it's more of like an odd poetry reading when it comes to the lyrics. Classic, oldie but goodie, and had to have it on vinyl. We're gonna talk about Pump. One of my favorite punk bands from Canada. I'm obsessed with this cover. So darkly funny and ironic. Yeah. Um, the idea that they're playing musical chairs with knives and smiley faces. Rocky Horror Picture Show. I love the artwork on this and I love this album. This was my mom. She's the one who introduced me to Rocky Horror back when I was just a wee lad. I've loved it ever since. Oh, it's my favorite time of day. You know what time of day it is? Swifty time! It's Swifty time! I only have two Taylor albums on vinyl. Only? I, I love this album. I love that. I've also shown him a lot of reputation, which I'm waiting for Taylor's version, obviously, to get it on vinyl. Oh, is vinyl. that what King of My Heart is on? Yeah. Mm, so I do love reputation. Yeah, you do. I mean, Midnight's, though. I've been waiting for them to do a sale at Target, okay? I want the Lavender Edition, and I'm waiting for them to do the Buy Do Get One Free. That makes sense. These vinyls are stunning. You've got a light pink and a light blue. Very much within the aesthetic of the Lover era. This is Folklore. This is the Target Special Edition. So the vinyl is red and we have this cover option of Tay Tay looking longingly at the camera. And no, I don't have tickets to the Eras Tour. Don't ask. The Velvet Team. This is my favorite band from high school. I just love Casey Dietz. The drummer is one of the best drummers I've ever heard in my entire life. And the words are really great. And there's just like a lot of passion behind the speed at which they play. That is our record collection. Thank yeah. you guys so much for hanging out with us. We Thank should you, do it again. Doctor. Doctor. It's been real. Hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> I love you so, so much. Break a leg and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.